What's up, Jupiter High School? I'm Connor Capper, and I'm only Connor Capper today, and I've got your news for Monday, November 28th. Do you love history, geography, political science, or do you have vast amounts of social studies trivia stored in your brain? If so, come and join the Social Studies Academic Games team. If you're interested, please see Mrs. Hansen in room 6210 or come to our first meeting on Wednesday, November 30th, right after school in room 6210. Medical Academy Lectures. This month's lecture is about suicide prevention. Statistically, suicide attempts increase over the holiday season. Sadly, some of us have witnessed our friends and families succumb to the isolation and depression of this tragedy. We need more awareness. So, the lecture will be on Wednesday, November 30th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Please invite your friends and family to attend. All parents and families of JHS ESOL students are invited to attend our JHS Parent Leadership Council meeting in the Media Center on Tuesday, November 29th from 6 to 7 p.m. Please come and meet the ESOL department members and JHS staff. Ask questions and learn very important information for you and your student. All those who attend will have a chance to enter a public zip code drawing. Here's Mrs. Arario with the announcement in Spanish. Atención estudiantes de ISO. Ustedes y sus familias están invitados a un programa especial de las 6 hasta las 8 de la noche al 29 de noviembre en el Centro de Medios. Durante este tiempo vamos a cubrir temas como selecciones de curso, requisitos de graduación, becas, nuestras nuevo programa de mentores y más. También vamos a tener una rifa para los que asisten a este evento. Puedes ganar una de nuestras tarjetas de regalo a, de Publix. Aprovechen esta oportunidad y traten de asistir a este evento. Nos vemos pronto. Thank you, Mrs. Arara. The Oswald Career Exploration Program can provide you with important information about your skills, abilities, and interests and help put you on the right course for a satisfying career. The program provides tools to help students learn more about career exploration and planning in both the civil, uh, civilian and military worlds of work. The ASVAB is free of charge and will be administered on Tuesday, December 13th. Sign-ups are in guidance and it's open to all 10th through 12th grade students. Jupiter at DECA last weekend traveled to Washington, D.C. to participate in the 2016 Ultimate DECA Leadership Power Trip. Students participated in several learning labs from building your future to college and career success. Students also had the opportunity to visit over 65 clubs and college exhibits with Marriott International, PepsiCo, and several universities around the globe. Students also have competed in the Marketing and Communication Series, and uh, we are proud to announce Alexa Simone placed top 25 in the North-South East Conference for in International DECA. Also, please congratulate Jupiter DECA for a job well done. Host and members, please stop by room 7106 to pick up your club t-shirt from Mrs. Garfia this week if you have not received it yet. Also, all members stop by room 7106 by Tuesday to pick up in important information. And there will be a mandatory host of meeting after school on Wednesday, November 30th in the cafeteria. Plan on staying for an hour. The varsity girls basketball team lost a hard-fought basketball game to John I. Leonard last week, 56 to 50. Juniors Megan McCants and Ellie Eady led the way, scoring 18 to 15 respectfully. Junior center led the team in rebounds, and Gia Kanish led the team in assists. The Lady Warriors will host Seminole Ridge tonight at 7:30. Tennis, there will be a meeting for all boys and girls interested in trying out for tennis in room 4104 at 245 on Wednesday, November 30th. Stay tuned for a repeat message about dress code and have a merry Monday, Warriors. Good morning, Jupiter High School. I'm Mrs. Diversa, and this is... Mr. Crum. Okay, good to see you, Mr. Crum. Hey, dyna dynamic duo is back That's in business. That's right. It's been a while since we've had the pleasure of... Uh, I agree. ...recording an announcement together. Um, students, we're here today together to talk to you about an issue that is really getting out of hand on campus, um, and that issue is dress code. Um, we have seen a lot of hats on campus, We've got a lot of midriffs. Something's going on with these jeans that are frayed. Yeah, there seem to be a whole lot of um, things being in mothballs or something. I don't uh, know. We're not sure what's going on, but um, we're here to tell you uh, it's time to tighten up with the dress code. Okay, beginning on December 1st, which is a Tuesday. Absolutely. Okay, um, there will be immediate consequences for students who are out of dress code. So we've given you a lot of friendly warnings. Nine weeks and part of a second nine weeks, a lot of leeway. 
friendly reminders about the dress code. Um, consistently. Consistently. Uh, but those days are gone. So we're just here to remind you, okay, of um, some of the unacceptable items on campus that are uh, shirts which reveal any and all portions of the belly, tank tops that are fewer uh, than three inches in um, width around the shoulders, skirts that are more than four inches above the knee, and um, what else? Well, I'd say the boys with the hats, but let me say something else before I get started. We know deep down that you guys are a great group of people and you really are pretty compliant to anything that we ask. This is just a matter of following directions, not getting yourself in trouble, not getting detentions, not getting as many late passes. So we're not talking about dress code. I'm also mentioning late passes in mm. there, especially first period. But anyway, with the guys, the hats have got to go. Um, okay. It's not that we dislike them or they, we don't think they're cool, but in the class setting, they're not. Okay, in the hallway setting. Correct. Now, what will happen from this point forward, well, I should say from Tuesday, we've got tomorrow and we've got Monday to give you a little break to get used to what we're gonna, what we're gonna do. Um, but when the hats are seen on Tuesday, we're not gonna ask you to take them off, we're just gonna ask you for them. And we will give you a detention at the time for a dress code violation, we will collect the hat, put it in student services, and if we collect it the second time, it may be a parent pickup, just like a cell phone. So right. please, do us a favor. Keep the hats off in the building. Um, I get it if you're walking to school, walking home, uh, you need a little shade for your eyes, no big deal. But in the classroom, in the hallways, um, we don't have the sun shining in there, so I think we... Courtyard, yeah. in the cafeteria, at lunch, nowhere on campus. We don't want to see any of the hats on campus. Right, okay. so, and guys, other than that, other than those, um, I guess, uh, athletic shirts, uh, when you see the old hairy armpits, it's really not very appealing, but... Right. not a fan uh, of those. So yeah. this is friendly reminder, students. Um, you will have some immediate consequences. They are going to begin December 1st, and... Um, we would just remind you, please uh, avoid all of the walking in the halls. We want you to be in class. We want you to be learning. We want you to use your instructional time, learning time appropriately. And please try to get to school on time. Amen. Okay, absolutely. We want to encourage you, of course, remember our 95 percenters club. Um, so those of you that are attending 95% of the days for second quarter, you will uh, qualify for uh, some great prizes. So just keep that in the back of your yeah, mind. Yeah, we want to okay? see your smiling faces mm -hmm. every day. Absolutely. And remember, juniors, those of you who do qualify as 95 percenters, will be at the very tippity top of the parking list wow. for SY uh, 2000. Hot commodity there. 18. Doesn't get any hotter than those parking passes. Okay. Absolutely. So um, friends, you know, help us help you to be successful and please uh, adhere to the dress code at all times and remember that uh, it's go time December 1st. So if you are seen out of dress code, if you have a hat, if the tank top is not appropriate, you will immediately uh, be given an administrative lunch detention on the spot. Remember, so. it's not how you can fix it, it's how we see you. Yeah, and we know you can fix it. We, we get that. Um, but at this juncture, uh, we've got to follow the rules and consequences will be um, given out uh, pretty freely uh, beginning December 1st. Okay, so thank you Warriors for your time and have a great break, yeah. or we hope you had a good break, depending yeah. on when you're seeing this announcement. Yeah, eat a turkey leg for me while you're out there. Turkey so. legs, indeed. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh,